Europe could freeze over, as scientists warn, the Atlantic Ocean system is on the brink of collapse. We're talking about the Gulf Stream current, which is a necessity to keep, of course, England and the western uh, part of Europe uh, balmy. Now, Europe and parts of the US and Canada as well are at risk of freezing over. Scientists warn a critical ocean current in the Atlantic is heading towards the brink of collapse. This is not the first time we've heard of this. It's because, of course, of extreme weather and climate change. Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, or AMOC for short, has become increasingly unstable in recent years. The situation, scientists believe, is caused by global warming. The major current is responsible for moving warm surface level waters northwards from the tropics and colder water from the ocean floor southwards. So should the amok collapse, it could bring extreme colds to parts of the Northern Hemisphere, Europe and North America. And the findings were published this week in the journal Nature Climate Change. The author is Nicholas Bowers from Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. And he says the Atlantic meridional overturning really is one of our planet's key circulation systems. And based on the team's computer simulations and data collecting from Earth's past, scientists know the current can be disrupted or exhibit an alternative, substantially weaker mode of operation. It's particularly alarming as scientists believe the amok is presently at its weakest state in more than 1,000 years. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So according to the Met Office, this amok current works like a large conveyor belt that is driven by differences in temperature and water, of course, the water salinity, the current which spans the breadth of the globe, the whole globe, makes sure the oceans are mixed and heat and energy are distributed around the planet. Annual variations in the current contribute to weather in the UK and scientists have been tracking these changes since 2004, so it's pr pretty recent. Should this process, uh, this process be disturbed, the fallout could be catastrophic. Climate models suggest this amok current will weaken throughout the 21st century as a result of the greenhouse gas emissions and climate change, and the global warming causes ocean temperatures to rise, ocean floors retain its heat, and at the same time, ice melt at the poles and the caps and increased rainfall are expected to dump large quantities of fresh water into the oceans. And according to the Met Office, this could result in a cooling of temperatures in the UK. The national forecast said a weaker amok will bring less warm waters northward, and this will partly offset the warming effect of the greenhouse gases over eastern, uh, Western Europe. For the gradual weakening that is likely over the 21st century, the oral effect is still a warming, he said. With amok out of whack, not only will freezing temperatures hit North Atlantic, but sea levels are also expected to rise, of course, along all these coasts. And Amok has not reached the tipping point just yet, but the evidence is mounting to suggest it's becoming increasingly unstable. Dr. Boris said, a detailed analysis of these fingerprints and eight independent indices now suggests that the Amok current weakening during the last century is indeed likely to be associated with a loss of stability he said the findings support the assessment that the amok decline is not just a fluctuation or a linear response to increasing temperatures, but likely means the approaching of a critical threshold beyond which a circulation system could collapse. As the amok current drives warm salty water northwards, what we know as the Gulf Stream, where it cools and becomes more dense, falling beneath the surface of Greenland. But the process being distributed by climate change, namely rising temperatures, the melting of the polar ice, changing the salinity and density of, of the water in the north. This may prevent the southern waters from sinking to the bottom of the ocean, throwing the entire system off, off kilter. 
so there won't be a, a, an overturning of the water as should be taking place. Dr. Baer said, I would not have expected that the excessive amounts of fresh water added in the course of last century would already produce such a response in the overturning circulation. He said, we urgently need to reconcile our models with the presented observational evidence to assess how far from or how close to its actual threshold the amok really is. So this is the reality of the changes of uh, salinity and fresh water in the ocean mix. This is by Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.